Peace, family. Peace, 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 peace. Peace. All right. So I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. If not, know your day is going to get better once your perception gets better. And honey, do you see this afro? Okay. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Okay. You have to embrace exactly who you are. Okay. I know a lot of times we get caught up in things of that nature, um, but you got to embrace who you are in order to attract what you say you want. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna take you guys back, way back. Okay, so um, this is the time where so I got pregnant when I was 12 or 13 years old. I can't remember exactly, but I believe it was 12, 13, right? So what happened was I was living with my father. A lot of you guys know, um, what the environment was like living at my father's house. Okay, if you don't know, and if you are new to my channel, I mean, my name is Tina Bryant, okay? And I do these inspirational videos, just sharing my life, sharing the things that I've been through, sharing the things that I've gone through, and sharing the things that I grew through. Okay, and the lessons that I learned from those experiences. And so, when I was pretty much a little girl, right? Only thing I remember is my father having custody of me for the most part, okay? Until I was about five years old, my aunt, which was my mother's sister, which is my mother's sister, she had got custody of me at the age of five, okay? And I told you guys, um, you know, it was pretty much, it was strict, and I get it now since that, that I do have kids. It was, it was strict, and she wanted the best for us, um, me and my sister and stuff like that. My aunt wanted the best for us, and... Um, I guess she didn't want us to make the same choices or decisions or affiliate ourselves with what we grew up with, okay? Seeing drugs in the house, seeing prostitutes, um, a pimp, I remember one pimp, um, and things of that nature. So I guess she didn't want us looking back now, right? I get it, I understand it, and I'm grateful for it, okay? But at that time when I was a uh, when I was a youngster, okay, I didn't understand it, and I just thought, like, you know what, she's strict, and I'm out of here, okay, and so I ran away um, at the age of five years old, no, 12 years old, I ran away, and I started staying with my father, and um, stayed with him, and then started getting into criminal activities, selling drugs and stuff like that. And from me selling drugs, um, yeah, it had to be 13. So from me selling drugs, I went to the youth house. From the youth house, I went back to my father's house and was just staying with him again. Because at this time, he had custody of me. So getting into the story, it was this guy, this older guy that lived, who was from the same as a um, project as, as I was at the time. And... I liked him. It was just something about him. Although, honey, he was, um, you know, a drunk, okay? And I ain't speaking ill of him. I'm just saying, like, he, he drinks a lot, okay? And um, it was just something about him. And I was at the age about, uh, I want to say 13, okay? Because I remember I went to the youth house and came home, and then I started messing. So I want to say 13. So at the age of 13... He probably was about, uh, let's see, like 21, somewhere like that. And, um, yeah, so my heyday, back in the day, I was wild, honey. You couldn't tell me nothing. I had the only attitude, okay. Um, and I think that was from a point of you know, my abandonment issues that I was trying to put this persona up um, that I was so strong and um, had it all together and all this other stuff. But my inner child, it was definitely crying out. Okay, it was definitely, definitely crying out. And so I saw him messing with him, um, the older guy, and I had got pregnant, okay? And he would come to my father's house. Like, the older guy would come to my father's house. And this is the thing. So, my father was way older than my mother. Okay. Um, oh, he was way older than my mother. I don't know the age yet. But I know for certain he was, like, way, way older than my mother. And so, I guess that's why my father, like, approved it. And 
also he was the type of father like you do whatever it is that you do and whatever consequences comes with it it just comes with it right he wasn't the type that was like you know my daughter ain't gonna be dating this guy and stuff like that my dad was pretty much in his own world and stuff like that and um so i was messing with the guy and i found out that i was pregnant okay and at the time I had, um, diapers was pretty much, I don't know what y'all call diapers now, right? But protective services was pretty much in a picture because, um, you know, the environment that they heard about me keep going back into the youth house, um, you know, so they pretty much got into the picture and stuff like that. And, um, I remember when I told him I was, um, pregnant and he didn't want me to keep the baby of course because he knew he was um you know an adult and I still was a minor and he was like you know you're gonna have to get an abortion because if you keep the baby like you know you got this lady coming to your house which was the protect the protection service lady you got this lady coming to your house and stuff like that and um you know he ain't want to go to jail and stuff so i went i did get the procedure done and i used somebody else's um medicaid card and their id okay okay um so yeah so i used somebody else um id and, and medicaid card and then um when the procedure was done, he did go with me to get the procedure done. And when the procedure was done, um, I remember I was, oh honey, reflecting back. I, I just reflect back and I see how I was like at an early age, just looking for love, wanting love and looking for love in all the wrong places. And wanting somebody to give me something that I didn't experience, right? And when I say I didn't experience, you know, I know my mother loved me or loved me. I know that. Um, I know my aunts and, you know, my grandmother and, um, and, and my uncles I knew, um, you know, I know they loved me, but at that time I just, and, and we tend to do this subconsciously, right? Like we tend to look for love and want love and make certain choices and decisions that may not be the best for us. But because we are so caught up on, well, this person is going to show me love, right? This person is going to give me something that I have never experienced before, whether you didn't get it from your mother or your father due to the abandonment issues. Honey, I am here to tell you okay everything is within you everything no one can ever give you anything that you are not willing to give yourself and people are merely reflections of who we are and how we are treating ourselves so i got the abortion and i was i remember i had got the pills and stuff because you know you got to take antibiotics like after you get the abortion and stuff like that to make sure you don't have any um um, any infections and, and stuff like that. And I remember, like, afterwards, like, we went back to his house, and, um, you know, I ate, I even remember what I ate, honey. I, I had um, chicken wings, well, the half of chicken and the, and the pork pie rice. And I remember, like, being there and sleeping in his house and him being an excessive drinker right an excessive drinker and i look back sometimes and i say i wonder do he remember you know um some of the things that transpired like i wonder do he remember um me being pregnant and stuff like that because the this guy he would drink from you know sun up to sundown and we both was coming from a place where though we was looking for love right and although he was older than i was um you know i guess he felt that i could give him something that he couldn't give himself because that's certainly how i felt i felt that somebody could give me something that i wasn't willing or capable at the time of giving myself so i hope you guys 
get something from this video. And at times when I share, you know, my darkest um, inner demons, um, sometimes I have to battle with myself and say, you know, Dina is not for you, is not, you have nothing to hide. And I got this from Lisa Nichols, you have nothing to hide, nothing to protect, nothing to defend, okay? Because I know someone out there will be able to get something from this video. And what I have learned from that incident is everything is within me. Everything is within me. All the love I would see was always within me. Every affection, everything that I ever um, imagined or everything that I ever wanted um, from someone else, I now understand and understand, understand that all the long it was within me. And with that being said, I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. Make sure you guys subscribe to the video. Make sure you click the bell so you can get the notifications of when I post. And um, don't be hard on yourself about the choices and the decisions that you have made in your past life because it was a reflection of your conscious mind at the time, how you thought at the time. And your environment, it plays a significant role. And so with that being said, I love you guys. Peace.